Hi, my name is Antonia Giordani and I'm responding to Mr. Wu's discussion. This is for class Nurse 644, week nine. Um, I believe that the scenario that he presented, the patient has iron deficiency anemia. I would first go over what iron deficiency anemia is with the patient, which um, it's an anemia that is, can be caused either by decreased iron consumption decrease iron absorption or increase loss because of bleeding so normally when we do a assessment we would always rule out causes of bleeding doing um by doing tests such as um a fecal occult test or if that becomes positive maybe a colonoscopy or maybe an endoscopy but the scenario that he presented the patient is pregnant and a vegetarian so i think it has to do mostly with diet and also when patients are pregnant um they have iron requirements during pregnancy increase dramatically because the mother's blood volume expands and the fetus grows and develops thus pregnancy is a condition that we do we can see iron deficiency so I would, um, and this is iron deficiency anemia, if it is caused by decreased iron consumption, it's not genetic. The one that's really genetic would be the iron refractory iron deficiency anemia. That one has a hereditary recessive anemia due to a defect in one of the genes. Um, I would start by educating her on iron, so at iron deficiency. So I, I already spoke about how the, it could be caused. I would tell her that it's characterized by um, weakness, fatigue, you know, possible syncope, shortness of breath, um, increased heart rate, and also one thing that she is describing, pica, when you have these unusual food cravings, that's particularly seen in iron deficiency anemia. Um, uh, the diagnosis, we would rule out bleeding, but we would also do a history and a physical um, we would definitely look at this, the bl complete blood count, a serum ferritin, a serum iron, and transfer and saturation. Um, in iron deficiency anemia, serum ferritin and iron levels will be low. The transfer will be high. Um, and TIBC is also high. Uh, treatment would include identification of their underlying cause. So I don't think that she's bleeding out. Like I said, I think it's because of her diet because we do get iron from animal products as well as um, non-animal products. But I'm not sure if she's eating as much as she needs because she's pregnant and she has that increased need of iron. So I would try to increase her iron levels by uh, increasing consumption of iron rich foods such as um, beans, raisins, green leafy vegetables, and we can also give oral or IV iron replacement. Additionally, I would uh, give her either food or supplements high in vitamin C because that helps with the absorption of um, iron. Um, I would get her in contact with a nutritionist and I would have her follow up with us to make sure that you know the baby doesn't have any teratogenic effects because of the decrease of iron that this child would most likely need. And yeah, I think that's, that's it. All right, so I would also provide patient education. Um, I would give her, I would go on Epic and print out, you know, dietary things. But again, I think speaking with a nutritionist would be best. Having her keep maybe a food diary, things like that. Thank you so much.